Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister and I'm back with a brand new level. This is Let's Play Hitman that Blood Money, and this is a cutscene. Yes. And we found and killed one of Mr. 47's accomplices. He wasn't alone? No. They communicated by radio. What bothered us was the autopsy of the second assassin. He was a Class 2 clone. Class 2? Fully functioning human clones, accelerated to adulthood. But they tend to die within 18 months of maturity. Tell me, just how widespread is human cloning? We can't know for sure, but I'm sure we'll see thousands within a few years. Why? Because of your jackalope president. He wants it legalized. Imagine that. The most insidious weapon the world has ever seen. And he wants to legalize it. <laughs> but the public... The public is an ass. Cloning is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction. It's a terrorist wet dream. But most Americans still support cloning, and... Hopefully, this interview will change a few minds. Maybe it'd help if they knew it was 47 that killed Chad Bingham's son. What? We even had our best agent on the spot. We were ready. Good to hear your voice again, 47. We got worried when you didn't get back to us. It was just a little thing requiring my attention. We've got an extremely delicate mission for you, if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Always interested. Just send me the briefing. Hello, 47. Your next assignment's in the Rocky Mountains. Senator Bingham is being blackmailed by pornography tycoon Launda Haviland, who has a compromising video of the senator's son, Chad. The video shows Chad playing a little too rough with a nightclub dancer during a creative sexual tryst at one of de Havilland's adult nightclubs. The girl didn't survive the encounter. Senator Bingham's involved in a tight re-election campaign. The video could cost him the election. So could any future misbehavior by his son. Our client wants Haviland and Chad taken out. He also wants the videotape. The clients arranged for Chad to attend de Havilland's annual tax day party at the Pawn Tycoon's mountain estate. We've got a recent photo of Chad, but de Havilland is camera shy, and the most recent picture we could get our hands on is 10 years old. This won't be easy, 47. The property isn't heavily guarded, but there'll be heavy security on the premises. Hey, and that was another mouthful by Diana. So, basically, we're breaking into the Playboy Mansion. And, uh, we're gonna be taking a silver baller along with us. It's always helpful. Always trusty. And we're gonna take the MP9 this time instead of our fancy custom SMG. And, ooh, that's pretty. But we won't be taking that this time. Um, let's take a look at the upgrades real quick. Um, I think I have everything I'm going to be using. Um, you know, I really don't like the double, uh, the double handguns because they are very slow when reloading, so. Uh, I also picked up an extra mine, by the way. I'm not sure if I'll be using it, but, well, there you go. Oh, those are two targets. And actually, a mystery target on the right. Well, I wonder who that is. So up there is where we need to go. But first, let's let's take a look around here. Ooh, there's a festive security guard. He's got a Santa hat on and a red suit. I wonder if they had to draw, like, straws to see which guard would have to dress up like Santa. Maybe that's why he's so pissed off. He should be like this guy. He's happy. And, ooh, look at that. That's nice. Huh. Oh, are you sick or something? No, you... Maybe you shouldn't have gone out. And, uh, see what's up with these guys. Hey, how are you? Oh, huh. You know, cloning is widespread because I just saw that guy over there. Uh, but they don't be seem to be doing anything, uh, sinister like that senator seems to worry about. It seems like they're just going to parties and working as security guards. And I'm trying to creep that guy out, but he doesn't seem to be paying attention. Huh. And everyone's watching me. And, uh, hmm. Well, uh, let's, let's head over here to the elevator. And, uh, ooh, as you can see, there's a security camera. Now, we don't want to... Oh, shit, damn it. 
I missed the elevator. That's not good. No. I think I've already mentioned this, but the elevators in the Hitman Blood Money are ridiculously slow. I'm talking Mass Effect 1 slow, you know? <laughs> uh, that's, that's how slow they are. More slow, really. Huh. And you are too close, friend. Far too close. Thank you. Jeez. No, oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. And, you know, security cameras in this level are easy to avoid, which is good, because getting the security tape uh, isn't easy, you know. Oh, hi. Hey, how do you like it? When I get up all up in your face, huh? You don't like it, do you? You don't like it when I invade your personal space. How about I get closer, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Oh, hi. Remember to wear your VIP heart if you want the special treatment. Spe- Whoa! <laughs> hey, there's a guy dressed up as Santa. Um, uh, we'll be looking into that more during the terrorist run, I assure you. And, ooh, heating lamps. Oh. So, there's plenty of security in this level. Actually, there's probably the most security out of any level in the game, I think, except for maybe the last proper stage. And, uh, huh. Oh, you don't look too happy. What's the matter? It's a party! Look at all these hot chicks! How about you? What? Oh, man, you look so serious. He looks more serious than 47. This sucks! What? I thought the chicks were all gonna be nude. Nude? Uh, they're wearing bathing suits for crying. See? Look! Man, what else do you want? Jeez. Uh, oh. Huh. Who's this guy over here? He looks pretty cool. Hey, stud. You know, lay, Let's on, have you know, a lay on the fun moves. down at the grotto. Not in the mood, bitch. What? What the fuck? That is not He's how you treat so a lady. Special. I've kicked better out of my bed. Ah, oh, what an asshole. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill you. Because you're actually one of our targets. Oh god, that's fucking creepy. Um, special. I've kicked what? Out of my bed. Stop! You're repeating yourself. Shut up. Uh, man, I I gotta get out of here. This this is just too strange. You know, maybe that senator guy was on to something when he said cloning's dangerous. Because I mean, Why so glum? Huh? At least you haven't been reduced to playing Santa Claus in April at a porn. At a what? At a porn? So that guy is in a porno? Ugh. Ugh. I can't stand it when they put really ugly, creepy guys in a porn. Kind of, kind of kills the mood. Now that guy. Let's talk to this guy. He seems like a cool dude. He's a bartender. This'll give you the extra oomph you'll need to make the most of your time at the grotto, if you know what I mean. Um... Oh, aphrodisiac. Yeah, I think we could use that. If there's any left, it's in the kitchen. Go easy huh. on it, would you? Yeah, I don't that think Santa's been hitting the sauce pretty hard. Uh -huh. Got a bottle of port in the kitchen. Okay. I hate a drunken Santa. What? I love a drunken Santa. I think the Santa. gubernatorial mistake is okay. amusing himself out in the jacuzzi. Drunken Santas are the best thing about the holiday season. You go into the mall, there's just this just depressed, you know, middle-aged washout, just drunk. It's hilarious. Um, okay. Uh, let's go in here. What? What's wrong with your voice? It'd be my be hard to get in. Huh, that's weird. Um, actually, what we're doing right now is we're waiting for a waiter to get back with a certain drink. Um, but that's gonna be a little while, so let's, uh... Oh, actually, here he comes right now. Um, that guy, I guess, was given the job of giving the gubernatorial mistake, as the bartender put it, drinks all night long. And we're gonna put a little something something in the aphrodisiac to help him along. Help him get to a place that's isolated where we can murder him. There it goes. We don't have to worry about anyone watching us. No one seems to care that I'm spiking someone's drink. No, whatever. 
Let's, uh, I got something else to do before we, uh, kill the governor's son, or the senator's son, I don't know. So let's head over there. Okay. Like I said, a lot of security in this level, and I don't think this guy back here will see us, even though he seems really interested in us. Okay, let's head in here. And is there security? No, no security, that's great. And over here, actually, is another bottle of aphrodisiac. Um, if we didn't want to talk to the bartender, and I don't blame you because his voice is really smart, but you could get the aphrodisiac there. Let's take a knife. Why not? I like knives. I like stabbing people. And, ooh, a hot dog. Now I'm going to add a little, little extra to the sausage because we're going to be using it later for a special someone um, that we want out of the way. We don't want him to get hurt, though. We just want him to go to sleep. Let's head out of here. Head back out to the party. Because I think by now... Uh, okay, the only reason to go up there is to get the security tape. And we don't have to worry about the security tape. Okay, so... I think our friend already delivered our glass, right? Oh, maybe not. Okay. He hasn't delivered the glass yet, so our timing's pretty good. Still gonna take a couple minutes for the drink to get there, so, uh, huh. Hey guys, how's it going? I could make you a okay. I couldn't understand what the guy was saying, but she seems really uninterested, and this is very awkward, so I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. Huh. I wonder if the Playboy Mansion's like this, just has a bunch of rich, middle-aged guys trying to hit on... <laughs> I don't know, supermodels? <laughs> that's, that's gotta be funny. You know, to watch. I mean, not actually to be there. Um, okay, so he's put the drink down. And we just have to wait for someone. Hello, here she comes. Back for round two, I guess? No? Yeah, okay, well. She'll be back. And... We're not going to wait for that. That would take a long time. So let's, uh, let's run over here. Now, we're heading into that restricted area that that guy told us we couldn't get into. You're going to need a VIP card to get in. Um, and there, there's never security in the back for some reason. I don't know why. That's just the way a lot of levels in Hitman Blood Money work. There's security in what? Huh? Huh. wonder where that guy's going. I haven't killed anyone yet. It's really strange. The the threat level just went up, and I don't. Ah, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put the moves on her, by which I mean the murder moves. Die! Ha ha ha! Yes, die you. And in case you haven't caught on, she's actually the the question mark in the in the stage in in the in the uh, the loading screen. Don't know who she is. But she makes a really funny face when she dies. <laughs> oh, man. Um, anyway. Let's drag her over here behind the couch so no one sees her. I'm gonna drag her and... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the behind the couch seems to be taken. Oh, my bad. Um, huh. And she's got a skull and crossbones on her left butt cheek. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can drag this body. Well... No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Uh, I think she'll be okay here. Actually, I don't think anyone... Oh, here they come. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, shit. No business here. What? I have plenty of business here, but it's none of your business. So, uh, uh... I'm gonna... You stand here, and I'm gonna stand behind you. And don't look, because it's a big surprise. No one, has to get hurt oh, no one except for you. So, because I managed to grab this guy without having him go into alert... Oh, why don't you say hello to my friend here on the floor? You get matching tattoos together if you want. Um, that guy won't count as a witness because I didn't make him go alert first. Um, it's funny the way that works in Hitman. Ooh, hello. Wow, that's pretty sexy. Oh man, look, look at that. That's, that's like almost as sexy as the hot coffee mod. You remember the hot coffee mod, don't you? The one that made a big deal about video games. And had everyone going, 
Oh no. Yeah, oh man, that's so sexy. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's like hot coffee mod all over again. Bring me back to 2005. Okay guys, break it up. Break it up. <laughs> she seems pretty happy even though I walked in on them having sex. Now let's sneak behind this guy. I'm going to be really creepy now. I mean, I was pretty creepy at the party, and I was creepy just now, but I'm going to be even creepier. And he knows I'm coming. He's looking behind his back. He's looking over his shoulder, I should say. And he's probably thinking to himself, I don't know who this bald fellow is in the suit, but I'm going to pretend that he doesn't exist, and hopefully he'll walk away. <laughs> oh, boy. You sap. Little does he know that we're not going to walk away. Not until he's dead. That's it. Now he's all alone. And, uh, let's take out our MP9. Nice. It's not silenced, but, uh... Die! Die! Ha-ha! <laughs> Ooh. I got a lot of bullets in his butt. Let's get rid of the evidence here. And, uh... Oh. Well, you can see it on the ice, but I'm sure the snow will cover it up later. Let's close these doors and head back up. And, ooh, a blinking light. And I think they need to send one of the Playboy bunnies down here to fix the lights or something. I don't know why they sent one of the Playboy... Oh, oh. Uh, see, yeah, hey guys, uh, how's it going? I'm just gonna stare at this corner. Huh. Oh, they must have, they must have seen the body drop. Oh, that's just fine for us. Doesn't matter to us. This room sure is pink, you know? Um... That symbol on the left on the wall means woman. I can't remember what the symbol on the right means, though. Hmm. I studied Japanese for a little bit. Let's close these doors. And, uh, now we're gonna head through this waterfall. And we're gonna take someone's outfit. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn around. And now I'm going to drag him into the waterfall with me. Uh, huh. Doesn't seem I can drag him. Let's, uh, let's choke him instead. Uh, I was gonna take him alive, but yes. Yes, succumb, you. Succumb to the cold embrace of death. And now, oh, oh, oh. that was close. I'm glad I didn't notice that. And actually, we have to wait for this guy to slide off of the wall. I had to wait for him to slide off of the wall in order to grab him. Um... That makes grabbing the photographer a little risky, because if your timing's off, um, they'll see the dead body. And, ooh, he's got a funny dead face, too, doesn't he? Now, let's head over here. And, uh, ooh, as you can see, we're clearly a photographer, because we've got jeans on and an a untucked button-down shirt. You know, because if, if you were anyone else, you'd be wearing a shitty tuxedo with a glowing heart. Hey guys, yes, oh, thank you, thank you very much. I'm gonna go in here now. Oh, look at these erotic pictures. There's a underboob, a butt, and a belly button. Oh man, it's so hot. Oh man, uh, underweight women showing their booties. So sexy. Yeah, there's a helipad here too, that's pretty sweet. You know, I've never actually been to the helipad in this level, so I think that's the way we'll exit. Let's head in here. Oh, there's that heart again. More butts and boobs. Under boobs. And it looks like our target is by himself out... Oh, but he's coming back in, it looks like. So, our target will be within our reach very shortly. But, uh... Let's head in here and take a look around first. Hey! Um, there's another photographer shooting. Taking... <laughs> And there's that hand motion again, only this time it's a positive one. He's not telling her to get out, he's telling her to get in. Okay. Now, we could uh, plant a bomb on those lights up there, but it's kind of risky. Um, if anyone sees you up there, they immediately freak out. And, huh, here's a cool little set. That's weird. You know, Halloween edition, I guess. Oh, and here's our other target. And the dog. Now, we can't sneak up on this guy when the dog's around because he'll bark. So, okay. I was going to give him the sausage, but that can wait. I'm going to get the, the, the tape. Cool. I don't think that's yours. 
What? So it's not mine? So you're gonna shoot me? Fuck you, man. No. Whoa. Give me that shit. Give it to me. Oh. Get knocked out. Oh, shit. Fuck you too, man. Get knocked out. Fuck you. Oh, you know what? Fuck this. God damn it. I was gonna give that sausage to the dog, make him pass out, then sneak up on that guy and kill him, but you know what? Fuck it. You can't run away from me. Where the fuck are you going? Where in the fuck are you going? Take it like a man. That's it. No use running. Shut the fuck up, dog. Fuck you. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna get you and your little dog. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> oh, God. You're ugly. I didn't even... No wonder you weren't looking at me. You're just so damn ugly. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, God. I'm glad I killed that guy. Damn, I was starting to feel sorry for him until he actually looked at me. Jeez. Ugh, oh, you are far too old. And, oh, you know, these guys are witnesses. Can't have witnesses. You know, it's, it's really too bad things didn't work out. Kind of became a... Uh, kind of became a terrorist run, but... Oh, well. I can always think of new fun things to do for the terrorist run, so... Let's recap. We actually killed the senator, we killed the porno pervert, and we stole the blackmail tape. And we're going up to the helipad. Okay. Well, this is going pretty good. I mean, I fucked up, but... Oh, boy. Fuck you. And I'm sure someone's on their way. <laughs> oh, man. Ragdolls. I love it. Huh. Yeah, that sure is not creepy. Oh. Yeah, headshot. Boom, headshot. <clears throat> oh, shit. Got shot in the ass. And... Oh, wow. Oh, man, he went flying. Well, that's the power of, uh... That's the power of magnum bullets. Get the fuck out of here. That's the power of magnum bullets to make people fly. And it looks like everyone's dead, so, uh... Let's, let's hop in this helicopter and just get away. Let's do that. Okay, 47. Let's get the fuck out of here. There's a cool little cutscene. Fly away. Okay. Oh, well. We killed 13 people, really? Huh. But there's no witnesses not caught on camera, so despite our carnage, uh, I don't think there's much for the police to go on, so I think we're pretty safe. Hmm. Well, Phantom Killer. Ooh. That's such a sexy title. Phantom Killer. The Phantom Killer Strikes. And we have $1.3 million. Ooh. Looks like we lost kind of a lot. That sucks. Oh, but, and I'm not gonna waste money on buying notoriety off. We only have three notoriety. Let's take let's take a look at the newspaper here. Ooh, there's a sexy picture of the senator's son that we murdered with bullets. Bullets in his butthole. Actually, I take that back. He's pretty fucking creepy too. I mean, he's not as ugly as the as the porn king, but uh, you know, ugh. huh? Silver baller. That's us. Mm. Oh, really? Not much to say. I mean, I think most of what's said in the newspaper is actually what Diana tells you right off the bat. So, uh, there's some other stuff here. Mostly fluff. Huh. They're stumped at the, assass the assassinations. And are those our assassinations or are they albino's assassinations? I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. Huh. Uh, radiation. 2004. Eight years ago. So that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. 
I'm Nick Meister. I'll see you next time for the Silent Assassin run. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this Silent Assassin run. Stay tuned.